And thank you so much for joining us tonight. Power is back on this evening after it was knocked out by a rollover crash that started as a high speed chase that went through several East Texas counties. That chase started this morning in Harrison County before going through Gregg County and then ending up in Smith County, traveling along I-20 and Highway 69. At one point in Lindale, authorities say the people inside the car shot at the deputies chasing them. KLTV7's Michael Richardson was at the scene where the chase ended and the investigation started. There was three suspects in there. Uh, come to find out, one did have a gunshot wound to the leg. And the one suspect who had a gunshot wound? The driver who was shot by law enforcement. That's why the Texas Rangers are now involved in the investigation. In the town of Lindell, there was an exchange of gunfire between uh, the suspect vehicle and uh, Constable 5 Precinct, uh, Precinct 5 Constable's office. What got us to this point? First, Smith County Sheriff Larry Smith says a vehicle was stolen from Mississippi. Authorities started a chase to stop the three suspects, which ran through Harrison, Gregg, and almost all of Smith County. Officials tried to stop the vehicle using spikes to no avail. It's a difficult when you're dealing with the interstate with a, with a moderate to heavy traffic to lay down spikes. They tried multiple times to spike the vehicle. The chase concluded when the vehicle rolled over while trying to exit I-20 near the Van Zandt County line. The car collided with a telephone pole, resulting in over 200 power outages. Crews were there to restore power earlier this morning. No one was killed and no law enforcement or members of the public were hurt. Now the investigation begins. Uh, because everything was fluid as it was going on, we need to go back and listen to that and see if, if we're missing anything. Michael Richardson. KLTV 7 News. The names of the three suspects have not been released, but they've all been detained. We're told the driver faces a $250,000 bond for evading officers. Sheriff Smith says his office plans on filing additional charges.